Let's race. <laughs> Against those I win for sure. Hello guys, welcome back, Ellie Schreider here, oh yeah, uh, I've been receiving a lot of messages since my last video and I think I need, I owe you guys some kind of explanation for the video that I did and why I had to say goodbye to my Schwarle. Three, two, when? Oh yeah, hey, <laughs> the same guy as yesterday. All right, guys, here we are again, back on CB Reaper, with a sunny, sunshiny day, but uh, cold as fuck, man. Minus two today, really freezing. All right, guys, um, since last video, I've been ha I've been getting a lot of messages asking what's going on <laughs> so I decided to do this video because somehow I, I think I owe you guys an, an explanation yeah I owe you guys an explanation and why is that I had I for sure I have subscribers man and I have I have people that follow me specifically because of Schwarle was the bike that I started the YouTube channel with and uh, of course everybody likes motorcycles some people like shoppers some people like sports bikes some people like street fighters some people like adventure bikes whatever but I, I, I guess that I that I owe an explanation at least to the fans of, of Schwarle me included because guys it was not easy for me believe me when i say this it was not easy at all for me to take the decision that i took and it was to say goodbye to schwarle man i'm still i'm still very sad i'm still very sad believe me and it was really hard to me to make that video for the reasons that it is and um, it never crossed my mind to to give away Schwarle so soon but it's life and life is make of decisions and uh, when I say decisions everybody knows that decisions are have two sides two decisions take place there's always in one side the reasons yeah whatever they are and the second part of it is the consequences or what it comes next the decisions and after I explain you guys what's going on maybe maybe you understand I hope yeah let's go I love this part of the road, man. Speed bump. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As you see, even the road, man, this is still ice. It's still freezing. So... I think it's better I slow down my horses <laughs> before I crash this one <laughs> and I get without bike. Ah, uh, there's somebody here. What the hell? Why is somebody here? I want to take some pictures. Oh, you asshole. 
did this just happen? It did. All right, guys. Sorry for the interruption. As I was saying, ah, uh, shit. We we somehow need to take decisions or or make make choices, yeah. And what happened with Schwarley is exactly that. With a, with a really really big pain in my heart and uh, sadness, because if you guys know me, man, I really love that bike. I really love that bike. It was not my first bike, as somebody thought it was. It was not my first love, but it was one of the biggest in terms of motorcycles, man. Uh, I love motorcycles since I was a really small kid, and I've been always uh, more attached to the shopper world, let's say. Uh, shoppers, Harleys and that kind of stuff. And for me, it was the first one that it matched like 100% with me, man. It was uh, it was a bike that was not too powerful, uh, but it could manage easily uh, any kind of terrain, uh, big trips, small trips, whatever, man. It was a bike, beautiful, beautiful design from stock, but then I was able to change it to my own uh, style, let's say. And everything, everything on that bike, man, made me get in love with it every single time that I rode it. Uh, and it's hard for me to say goodbye to a bike like th that. I put on the video like RIP 2004-2018, not because of the bike is broken or I had an accident or some some shit like that. I got a lot of message from the from the guys asking, "Hey man, everything is okay? What happened with the bike? Did you crash? Did you did the bike uh, got broken or something? A malfunction or just died or whatever?" Um, nothing about that, man. Nothing about that. Uh, what happened was um, I get to a point in my life. Oh, let's. Hello, Remy <laughs> there. All right. Like I was saying, was nothing about accidents or malfunctions or whatever. Was simply the fact that uh, getting curious about other kind of stuff. I'm getting the feeling of exploring, the feeling of uh, riding big distances and 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 explore places and countries that I've never been. I guess that. A bike properly built for the for that kind of stuff will will be more functional for me. As you guys know, I I had Schwarley and I have CB Reaper. Um, I I could have I could have uh, another bike with the purpose of touring and making the trips that I'm planning to do, but. My my wallet is not that big, man. <laughs> I live in Holland. Uh, we get uh, an average fee, okay, a little better than than I have in my own country. But my wallet is still really, really small. Uh, so it was unbearable for me to 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 think about having three bikes at home. I'm I'm decided to invest in what I feel like to live right now. Uh, and that means that I'm looking for a bike that can uh, that allows me to follow the dreams and the plans that I have right now. And it's touring and travel and exploring and do stuff that I didn't do before. I love bikes. I love all kinds of bikes. I cannot say that, all right, I love shoppers and I will ride shoppers for the rest of my life. No, I... I, I love shoppers, indeed, but I also love street fighters, and I also love sport bikes, and I also love trail bikes. I love all kinds of bikes, man, and, and it makes part of me being curious to try and to get the experience of different kinds of bikes. For me, it's very important because I learn, not only on my comfort zone, but I learn to ride all kinds of bikes. And it's also nice because the knowledge that you get riding different kinds of bikes 
it also makes you grow as a motorcycle rider and and that's what i that's what made me take the decision that okay i'm going to explore more i cannot take schwarley to big trips where <laughs> where i don't have too much luggage capacity the bike is really low so it doesn't allow me to go any other places unless normal road let's say man it's very comfortable it's unbelievable um reliable the maintenance on that bike was fucking simple to do man that 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 bike for me was one of the best or the best that i had so far like i told you in the video but it it came the time that i had to take decisions and um that decisions are exactly because of the plans that i'm doing right now so my friends i sold schwarley uh and i traded in for another bike but i'm in process of getting the new bike now i'm not going to tell you what it is <laughs> not yet not yet um and and that's it schwarley is gone i i need i need to be honest with you guys i i trade in schwarley so I'm sorry for you guys to disappoint you in somehow um, by selling Schwarley. But in another way, man, let me tell you, this decision was really hard to take, but with a really, really good feeling for what comes next. Um, and you guys are going to be surprised. Keep tuned. I'm not used to the off-road. This is not the off-road bike my friend Mike but it, it could be it could be <laughs> decisions man decisions in life need to be taken and those decisions that I took have consequences of they also bring something oh shit frozen in the rocks not good and those consequences is a completely different bike from what you guys are used to see me riding <laughs> and that will allow me to have different adventures different things and live different things and also for you guys man it's 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 gonna be fun to make new videos with it for sure so keep posted guys because really nice news are coming up really nice news and if you are curious to see why I trade in Schwarley just wait for it A lot of traffic at this time all right guys and that's it uh, I hope you guys don't get much angry with me because I sold our dearest Schwarley but it was time to go man time to go um, we need to live our life we only live once and what I want to live right now I could do it with Schwarley I could do it man but if I can do things in a more comfortable way relaxed way with more conditions for it yeah come on guys I can always buy another shopper and transform it again Hey, to have my Schwarley back, so you never know. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I hope you guys keep tuned to see the, the news that are coming up. Um, another thing about the, about the gimbal that I bought and I show you the, the unboxing video. Uh, I've been busy. Um, testing it out and learn how to work with it 
Uh, maybe I can put some footage here. Yeah, that makes things much smoother. <laughs> now I can shake like a 90 year old guy with Alzheimer or Parkinson disease that you guys don't know <laughs> because the image is now it's stable. <laughs> All right, don't forget to push that like button if you enjoy the video, of course. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not yet to the channel. It's a way of supporting me and giving your love um, share it with your friends and family if you like it that much <laughs> okay guys um, that was it and I hope you guys enjoy the video we'll see each other next time don't forget RIP right in peace Spare ribs. Maybe it's from here that Eve was born. Not from the rib of Adam, but from the spare ribs company. <laughs>